What's going on everybody? A uh, quick recap here. Uh, last week I did uh, two loads on Monday, two on Tuesday, uh, one on Wednesday, and two on Thursday. And uh, I took Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And uh, yesterday I did, uh, they're supposed to do two loads, okay? But uh, one of them I got there and they didn't have the freight, so um, it canceled. And uh, then I went on and done my second load. And then uh, now today I got two loads to do. And so far I got one for Wednesday, two for Thursday slash Friday. It's kind of a weird setup on those two loads, but I'm gonna try to get them done Thursday, early Friday morning and then book more freight for Friday. Uh, might even go into Saturday, I'm not sure yet. Maybe even Sunday, I don't know. I got, uh, so I took that vacation and I took three day weekend. So uh, I might work a little into the weekend. I don't know yet, it just depends. All right, so I, that's like a quick update. Um, uh, Fogline software, you know, Ray there, he's got a new program coming out. I'm gonna download that program soon and uh, I, I'll go through it, check it out. And I'll probably do a video on that and demonstrate it. If anybody, uh, you know, because right, you know, that's the best trucking software that I've found so far. Um, that's what I've been using for years. And every time he comes out with a new program, I'll download it and, uh, you know, put all my information in it, check it out, and, and, uh, and I'll do a review on it. All right, so, you know, uh, I've been busy. You know, uh, I help out a lot of people. Uh, in this business and uh, I've saved a lot of people's businesses and uh, you know and if uh, people out here uh, a lot of you know you know how YouTube is if you don't believe me call me you know you got my email number send me your phone number uh, if you have something to ask me I'll tell you you know just call me up and I'll give you these phone numbers these individuals and they'll tell you uh, what I've done for them all right and, and help their business out and that's another thing see uh <clears throat> it's all the new guys and everything and you know this this goes on to the older guys because you know i meet some guys in the truck stops and stuff and say, oh i've been here 20 something years i i can't go anywhere now and, and they'll tell how bad the place is at where they're at uh but they won't change well that's not a true business person that's just a driver and uh because a, a real business you treat it like a business not in any, you know, if you drive the truck, yeah, you drive your driver, but if, if you own that truck, you're a business and you need to look out for your business. And uh, so, if that uh, partner you're doing business with, uh, you know, freight lanes change. If their freight lanes go away from your where you can't get home or you can't conduct your business in a profitable manner, uh, then you need to start looking at other businesses to partner with. I mean that you know that's that's the nature of the game, you know. Uh, look at these big companies. Uh, you know they go around and they are always soliciting for freight. They always try to get the freight uh, and keep their lanes going because uh, you know there are companies out there that you know see your company driver. There's companies out there who hire a company driver and they don't even go to those places, but they just fill seats. Uh, the place I'm at, they won't do that. Uh, if they don't have the freight down there, they'll stop hiring in areas if they don't have the freight base in that area uh, because it's too costly to try to get home if, if there's no freight there and uh, they'll do the same for independent contractors they won't lease them on if they live in areas where the freight base doesn't go um, you know people saying a lot of people say well they should hire them on anyway because you know it's the if he's an independent contractor and he wants to spend the fuel and the money uh, then that's his choice well you know, I see that argument, and I also see their their argument. You know, uh, you know, if the if the guy's got to keep doing that, keep doing it, eventually he'll probably leave. You know, because uh, he'll see that his bottom line isn't where he wants it to be. So, uh, but you know, that also you know they should also give the choice to that uh, business if that's what they want to do. Then. You know, it, it's that business's money, I guess. But uh, but that's how, you know, a lot of these companies work, you know. Uh, so stay away from the ones that will hire anybody. And, uh, you know, especially in, in non-freight areas uh, that they don't even hardly go to because, you know, not going to get home very often. 
So that's a quick thing for company drivers. And, uh, you know, and then for the owner operators, you know, do your homework. Just because you're, you're partnered with somebody, uh, the industry changes, you know. Uh, there's more companies c coming out with this program that they have here. And, uh, you know, check them out. And uh, get their lease agreements so you can see what all they charge. You know, what's all the expenses. And uh, if you have to apply to that company to get that lease agreement so you can see it, doesn't mean you're going to go work there. Uh, apply there, get the lease agreement. That way you have the knowledge, you have the information, you got the knowledge to make a good decision. And uh, some people go overboard if they, you know, say, oh, well, you're applied over here and you're applying over there. Well, uh, that's, a, that's that individual's choice to, to do his homework. If that's what it takes to get that lease agreement, uh, so you can see the actual expenses and not what someone tells you um, then that's what you got to do so um, there are, I know a lot of people in this industry that uh, do that and it's a smart smart thing to do you, you know it's called doing your homework just like running lanes you know you, you do your homework on these load boards to see uh, which company has the best loads that gets you through to and through the house on a time in a you know on a, a consistent basis so anyway uh, you know, I'll leave it there. I got some more videos coming out uh, when that software program and I get that downloaded. And, uh, and once it comes out, I'll uh, I'll do a demonstration on that. And um, other than that, that's all I got for right now. There's some videos I tried to load up, but they wouldn't load up. So maybe I can get those uh, loaded when I get home. And uh, I'll talk to y'all guys later. See you.